everyone and welcome back to another pickups video. Today I have a few games as well as a couple of game guides that I got from Game Exchange and I also have another item that I got from Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that and then I'll get into the stuff from Game Exchange. Um, first off, I did get a 32 gigabyte memory card for my camera which I'm using right now obviously. Um, so I can't really show that but I did get a 32 gig SanDisk memory card. Uh, I got that from Amazon and I also got a Energizer charging station for my PS3 controllers, which I just did an unboxing of that. Um, it should be my previous video, so if you guys haven't seen that, you know, check it out. Um, it's just a little unboxing video, but you know, hopefully you guys seen that. Um, and then I also got this backpack that I'm about to show you, um, and I got all that stuff, all three of those items for free from Amazon using Swagbucks, um, so that's really awesome uh, to get a few items that I actually needed. Um, and the backpack that I got, this is a case logic bag. I know there's several different ones, but I'll put a link in the description to the exact items that I got from Amazon so you guys can check them out if you want. So the link to this will be in the description. Um, like I said, it's a case logic. I got this specifically for my laptop. Um, so it does have a little pouch here for your laptop. Um, I have a 15.6 inch screen size laptop. This holds up to a 16 inch, so that's plenty, um, you know, good enough. So. Um, yeah, and you can also put some stuff in front of it. Um, there's a small pouch up here, like I could put, it's kind of soft, so you can put like sunglasses or your wallet or your phone even in there um, if you didn't want to carry it. And then it also has this front pocket, you can put a notebook, some pens, some notepads, I could probably throw my 3DS and PSP in there and things like that, so some cables, chargers, um, so yeah. Um, it's actually a nice looking bag. It's gray and red as you can kind of see. Um, has a couple of side pockets as well with zippers so that's nice. Um, you can see on this one here I put my um, loot crate pins on there. So yeah. I didn't really know what to do with them so I was like I'm just gonna put them on my new bag so I'll just keep adding them. Um, so yeah that's pretty neat. Um, so I, I did get all three of those items. Um, this backpack the memory card and the Energizer uh, charging for my PS3 controllers all for free thanks to Swagbucks. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome uh, website. You just watch videos, get points, and you redeem them for gift cards. Um, and you don't have to order them for Amazon gift cards. You can go to Walmart, Target, GameStop, Starbucks, all kinds of places. So it's a really cool website. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description to Swagbucks. Um, and you guys can sign up as well if you want to, so pretty neat. So now I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got from uh, Game Exchange. I got a couple of guides. The first one is Mario Party 8. I actually really like Mario Party 8. I still have the game. I don't even have Mario Party 9 yet because I still like 8 really good, so uh, yeah. Really nice cover in my opinion. Um, here's the back of it. Um, it's in good shape. There wasn't anything ripped out of it or anything, so uh, for... I think they sell all their guides for $1.95 a piece, so that I figured for two bucks, you know, I'd go ahead and pick it up. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I also got uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, there's a poster in here, as you can see, but I'm not going to open it because it actually has a picture on the back. One side is the map, and the other side is an uh, actual poster, but there it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so yeah. Pretty neat. Um, this is one of my favorite racing games of all time, so that's why I picked this one up. Normally I wouldn't pick up a guide, but um, I've seen those two and I snatched them. So Next couple items here. I got two... Um, I'm going to show these first, actually. I got two Game Gear games. Nothing, you know, fancy, but um, I did get us another Sonic game. And that is Sonic Chaos for the Game Gear. I have Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and then Sonic Chaos for the Game Gear. I don't know if there's any other ones, but I need to look up and see. That way I can hopefully find them if there is more. But And then I also picked up this one. This is Tom and Jerry the Movie. You can see there. Again, $2.95 a piece. Not bad. Um, and I put them in these cases. I already had these cases, so it wasn't a big deal. But I put them in those. And then I also got a PSP game. This PSP game, I think, was 2 bucks, so I figured why not. It has a lot of customizations for your character and stuff, so I figured for less than $2, it should be a good buy. So I picked it up. That is Hot Shots Golf. Pretty good. 
Um, I think this is the same one I played before. Uh, I can't really remember it, but I went ahead and got it just to see. I haven't played it yet just because I've been so busy, but it's complete. Good shape. Uh, the disc was actually flawless, so I was happy to see that. So was the manual. So I got that for $2. Next, a 3DS game. Um, now, I wasn't really actually trying to find this one. I just actually stumbled upon it. They had another copy that was used, but it didn't have the uh, original stylus that were included. So I didn't get that one. Um, for like a dollar or two more, I can't remember what it was, I went ahead and got a complete copy and it came with the original stylus, so I was very happy with that. And that is Dual Pin Sports. I don't know if any of you guys have played this, but it's actually, um, you use two stylus to play the game, um, which is actually kind of neat and a little challenging, so if you're looking for that, I do recommend this. And it's got different sports on here, um, basketball, archery, um, baseball, the baseball one's kind of fun, so is the archery. The basketball is a little difficult, but um, overall, it's a fun game. Um, complete. Here's the stylus right there. I don't know if it's going to focus on those, but there's nothing really on them. It's just a lines or whatever for a design on it. But And then the manual is in there as well. So for a couple dollars more to actually have a complete copy than the other one they had, I figured why not. So it's actually a really fun game, so I do recommend it. And the last two games that I have to show you guys are two Game Boy Advance games. And I didn't expect to pick these up, but for the price and the condition, I figured I would. And plus, I hardly ever see these more popular titles at my local game exchange, so I went ahead and got them. The first one is Mario Tennis Power Tour, for the Game Boy Advance. And Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. Now these were both almost 10 bucks. But, like I said, I never see the more popular titles like these at my local game exchange very often. Um, if I do, then someone's already got it in their hands, so I, you know, I can't get it, but, um, yeah. So I did get those. Very happy to add another Kingdom Hearts game to my collection, so, um, yeah. So there's all my pickups video, all for this pickups video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know some things you guys, uh, picked up recently. If you want to sign up for Swagbucks, I'll also put a link to swag bucks in the description as well as those items that i mentioned in the beginning of the video so you guys can look at those as well so hope you guys enjoyed the video and please comment rate and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and thanks for watching